everybody. Uh, Keith here. Uh, Mark's uh, here too, and uh, we're we're gonna do a, a <laughs> we're gonna do a painting of a koi. We're gonna do a, a a watercolor sketch of a koi, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And uh, as usual, uh, Mark will ask the questions. Uh, if I can think of anything, I'll answer uh, imaginary questions out of my own head. Uh, but we will get started. So I'm gonna start with the side of the fish. And I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a shadow along the side of the fish. So I'm going to use probably not probably I'm going to use an ultramarine blue. For all I'm trying to do is get a little three dimensionality to this fish. Okay, so uh, this is a koi, and uh, I love these fish. I could never find a decent uh, image of them. They're usually about 500 of them fighting each other um, for whatever scrap of food someone's holding out to them. Uh, but I did finally get something that I could look at, and I am very happy. And we have this one. Um, we, we will have this up on the website, right? The, the sketch. So yeah, if you, you want to kind of took a picture of it. Yes, we did. And uh, we can then uh, we'll put that up on the website and you can use it yourself. You could trace it or at least you can look at it and uh, figure out how to do this. So, like I said, right now, ultramarine blue. I'm just putting a light coat across the along the one edge there. And I'm just going to take a little bit of water on the top and soften it up. There we go. So, got a little bit of color going. And at this point, I'm going to I'm going to let this while this is kind of drying up, I'm going to go with the same ultramarine blue, and I'm going to kind of just lightly color in the fins. of uh of the uh of the fish <laughs> whatever um well quick question two yeah. questions actually okay. one you said this is a watercolor sketch what's the difference between a watercolor sketch and a full-on watercolor painting okay um for me uh I, I maybe i don't know if there's a technical uh let me just say that my interpretation of a sketch is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of whip out the fish. I'll probably put in a little bit of background, but I'm not going to go all the way to the edges. I'm not going to finish this out completely. This is more of a study. How's that? Uh, okay. a, a watercolor study. That's a good one too. So, um, but yeah, I just, I like, I like when you got some white around it too. It, it just, it makes for a bright picture. Uh, anyway, um, and so my second question the... is because you're using ultramarine ultramarine blue right now. Yes. For mostly the shadows, do you have a basic uh, list of what colors you plan on using for this entire painting so people can get it all together before they're too far into the? All video? right, that that does seem like a fair and respectable question. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> This is going to be a, this could be a white and kind of um, orangey, bright orangey. Uh, it'll be a little bit of gold, a little bit of bright orange, and a little bit of black, and with like, a white like that bright of orange. Yes, maybe even a little okay. darker. What is that? You got props? They're scissors. <laughs> hey, this is totally different. <laughs> I just remember when you'd be behind the camera and make faces at me. See? There you go. Now you get to play. No, what I was going to do is I was going to hold you responsible, and I was going to pull out the Pantone number of the color paint oh, you're God. using. So, <laughs> More props. Stop it. Exactly. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Until I start mixing them up myself, I'm not even sure which happy bright color I'm going to use. But I'm thinking something in the in the range of a oh like a cad red or something bright 
and a little bit of opaque. Uh, I don't want to go with an alizarin crimson. I want to go with something a little, you know, more vermilion, a little more uh, orangey red rather than purpley red. He said purpley red. Okay. All right. And how come you use blue for the shadows instead of black or gray? Um, because we're in the water, and um, basically I'm just trying to, you know, give this fish a little dimension. The blue on the fins, you'll understand in a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm using blue because, yeah, we're in the water. Um, and no, it ain't going to disappear because I'm not filling this with entire background of blue water. I'm going to probably put just uh, some stones behind this or under it so that it looks like a riverbed. You might be able to see it. I did them very lightly. Now, I didn't yeah. do them everywhere either. So I'm, I'm just going to kind of, I'm doing kind of like a diagonal across this page. Um, and, and right now I'm kind of liking what I got. Um, so this feels pretty dry already. Excellent. So believe it or not, I am now going to come in with a very light kind of gold. So I'm using, uh, something similar to a new Gamboge, which is a uh, kind of like a, very bright sunflower yellow and it's not going to be that dark i'm just going to add a little bit of this color more or less to the top of the fish and honestly don't do what i just did i recommend that you kind of lightly you don't have to sop it but it really does help the paint move a little bit better if you get a little bit of water on the surface. I'm also avoiding, do not paint your, um, these fins on the top here. Be careful that you don't uh, kind of go over them because we want them to pop out later on. So right now I'm just kind of, I'm leaving those white. And I'm just kind of going around the fish, the top of the fish, I'm leaving the blue alone because these fish, the one I'm doing, um, kind of has a you know a whitish belly and a golden top and then it'll have the bright 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 colors uh the orange and the black to uh make it exciting and and new exciting and new what is that the love boat yeah you're Maybe. too young yeah shut up <laughs> I hate i'm you. just wondering do all koi fish have the fu manchu mustache kind no not all of them, but uh, some do. And there's a lot of, you know, those guys have been over there, you know, making cool fish for, what, hundreds of years now? I'm sure they got every kind you can imagine, you know? But no, I don't know for sure. Uh, but from what I've seen, no. <laughs> I've seen uh, lots of different kinds of koi. My favorite so pond was over in Hawaii at the, I don't even know if the hotel still exists, the, the beautiful Mauna Loa Hotel and, and on the big island of Hawaii, they had this uh, just gorgeous fish ponds that went on and on and on. It was, I, I loved it. Still couldn't get a decent picture of a fish, you know, I, I don't know why. They just would not cooperate with me. So as well, you can see, I got a pretty good, I'm going to go a little darker on top here. And as I come around the, you know, to the blue, I'm just kind of lightening it up as I go. I kind of like that. So I think what I can do at this point is I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to let this dry up a little bit. Whoa, nice catch. I'm going to let it dry up a little bit, and then I'm going to start adding my orange while it's still damp. You're supposed to go, ooh. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh. 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 All right. Awkward. So. Um, kind of, I like to, you look to the side, you get under it and you, you check out the light. So, um, if 
you can still see a nice, you know, a little bit of moisture on the top there, you don't want it real wet because this red, this red that I'm going to apply is going to move. So the trick is that you have it move only so far. And the only way you can do that is kind of experimenting with your watercolors, learning. I grab a piece of scrap paper and I'll wet a little section and I'll test it to see how far it moves. So let's try it right now. I've got a nice chunk right here. So I'm gonna just apply a little bit of this red and you can see how it do and different just, paints react differently? Uh, not really. Nope. This is watercolors at its wet. <laughs> wet okay. on wet. Okay. That's what this is. So as you can see, you just got to be careful that if, if you have too much water, what will happen is this thing will just go, boo, you know, and it'll, you'll have a great big section of orange rather than a little bit. And if you keep watching this, this thing's going to keep moving. So I just have to be a little bit careful as I'm doing it. And if it dries up, I just re-wet little sections of it again and, and go for it again. So like in here, if you look, see how I'm not getting any moisture movement there? See how it stays as a sharp line? That's because that dried up there already. And to me, this is the kind of the fun part of watercolors is when you let the watercolors have a little bit of its own thing. It, it goes itself. That's, that's the, the hard part of watercolors and the fun part of watercolors once you kind of figure it out, you know. Um, and honestly, humidity, different things will, you know, create how much time you have, you know, if it's summer and warm and, and damp, yeah, you'll be waiting a while for this to kind of dry slowly. If it's the middle of winter, you know, your house is all dry, it'll just dry right up on you real quick. So you want to be, just be aware of your environment. And that's why I recommend doing tests before you actually work on your actual painting. All right, where am I? Ooh, okay. Um, what size? Uh, what size paper are you painting on? This is a 140 cold press. This is Arches, my favorite paper in the universe. Um, the reason and what I are you like working on is that a 12 by 18? Is that a 10 oh, by 12? Oh, it's an 8 by 10. 8 by 10. The image is is yeah. We'll finish out at about 8 by 10. Um, oh, look at that. See, and look at, it's got, and, you know, you can go back in, too, and if you think it's not strong enough, you know, before it dries, you can run in there and punch it up a little bit more. But I love the looseness of this. Instead of, you know, like a coloring book, this is a little softer. It has a little more, you know, kind of watercolory freedom to it. Freedom! Freedom! So, at this point, there are areas where I do actually want the watercolor to be a little bit harder. And one spot is right up here by the nose. So I'm just going to paint this dry. And by dry, you mean there's no water on the paper in that area? That is correct. That is correct. So what I'm, I want the pattern that I have here. I don't want to, you know, get lucky, <laughs> like up here. I want it to, uh, this I want it to be kind of uh, very definitive. All right, and then uh, kind of under here too. You gave him a bozo nose. <laughs> yes. The world's most famous clown. All right. Kind of, we were just talking about all of that 
in my class yesterday. We were talking about all the uh, local television back in the day. Uh, I miss that. I miss local television. We were trying to re Oh, I finally remembered. We were trying to remember the guy that used to do the horror shows. It was Sir Graves Gasly. Oh, I was going to say there was a few of them. The well, ghoul. The ghoul, yeah. He was another one. He was out of Ohio, right? Parma? Yeah, I believe so. I think he said Parma, Ohio. I don't know where that is, but... I think he just passed away a couple years ago, too. Oh! Not the ghoul. I could be wrong, but I, I believe... I remember something about that. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, yeah he was he was fun. Uh, we started looking him up too. Um, I remember down in Florida, we had a guy. It was pretty funny too. He was uh, Sir Graves, no, uh, Doctor Paul Bearer. Doctor Paul Bearer. All right. See, it must be I'm bringing this up because obviously I'm doing all this red. All right. So. Oh, man, is this going to be a dead fish? Yes, yes, I tricked you. <laughs> this will be in a bucket with other dead fish underneath it. <laughs> so, I see you remember that last episode we had, huh? All right. Well, if, it is, if it's not something dead in the video, I don't know uh, what dead it is. Dead grass. What else do I like? Yep, the ghoul passed away in 2019. Oh. Uh, thought so. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. You can you can check my facts. You can check my bull crap, right? <laughs> You're wrong. You're a liar. <laughs> All right. So, right now, I'm kind of going in, and while it's still damp, I'm still pushing a little bit of uh, a, a little bit of orangier, orangier orange. How's that? I'm sure that's a technical term. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm just putting a little more orange into this image, just because I think it's prettier. And the other part of this is. This is going to be kind of, you know, with the blues and the water and everything. This probably is going, you know, two complementary colors blasting against each other. Blue and orange like this. Painting, it should pop, you know. So, anyway, I've got uh, quite a bit of my orange in. I'm going to put some up in here. That area looks pretty dry already. It is. And I'm just uh, I'm just gonna take this paint that I've done. I'm gonna just pull it, just pull a little bit. So I like it a little darker here, a little lighter there. Ouch! And then I'm gonna push in a little bit of that redder color that I have been using. I'm still on the page, right? Yeah. Yep. You haven't told us what the actual names of any of the paints are, just red, yellow, orange, and red. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Honestly, because, well, I did say New Gamboge. Um, the orange is a chrome orange in uh, the Schminky. Uh, but, you know, we don't, we all use different paints. So you got to kind of, you got to know your own palette. And it, it is, you got to get them out and use them. Um, to find what colors are going to work for you, uh, I, I go. I, I fight this in my classes all the time. They want to know exactly what colors I'm using. I'm like, you don't even have the colors I'm using. So you know, you got to kind of figure it out. You got to you got to experiment a little bit. How am I going to get a bright orange, or how am I going to get you know uh, the right blues? Uh, ultramarine blue. I, that's another color. Come on, I, I did use the proper proper name all right so and again now i'm going to take i'm just saying you're never going to get that schminky sponsorship if uh you don't <laughs> call them out by name well i'll be honest with you um i hate to be a 
a troublemaker, but I snuck off and also got some da uh, Daniel Smith tray of paints too. They're a pretty good brand of paint. I like. I've always liked them. Um, they put out a, a a pan set now and uh, in a metal in a metal pan set, and I really I like I like that one too. Um, yeah. I'm a true almost, artist. I stick to a solid eight color palette from Crayola. I mean, I've if you can't your, mix your own, I've seen your, I've seen your art, and uh, yep, those crayons are some of the. It's Crayola. I mean, it's the best crayons you can get. Come on. I I use the finest uh, office twenty pound uh, copier paper. <laughs> when I'm done, my painting looks like a piece of bacon. It just. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. It's been. It's been too long. Yeah, guys, at 12 bucks a gallon, Keith's not coming to see me. That's right. That's right. I mean, that's what I thought. You know, hey, we'll start doing some uh, videos again. And then, you know, the price just kept going up and up. I'm like, I'm not coming to see you. We'll, we'll do it Zoom. We'll do it hurricane style. So, yeah, we're here. This will work for a while. Uh, eventually we will I can get you off the camera right if we yep. go back to the old old ways you won't be on film you'll be the what do you call it the the power behind the throne so to speak right there you go yeah I just need to I'll stick one of my cards on the computer and I can run away <laughs> right <laughs> there you go there you go all right so I was just experimenting real quick here. I wanted to see something. In the picture, along the edges, you know, koi, carp, whatever you want to call them, fancy carp, they have those really large, very identifiable scales. Um, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put a few of those in uh, on the white part of the body so that you can kind of see some of them scales. They're basically little triangles with a little space between them. But it does really kind of give it a nice uh, fish scale feel to them. And all I'm doing is filling them in. Now what I do like to do though, is I will, after I fill them in, I'll drop a little bit of water right in the middle and that'll push the paint to the edges and give me kind of like a sharp edge to these um, fish scales. That's a remarkable, Keith. What a great talent you are. I tell you that every day. I actually text him. He does. He sometimes forgets to hit the send button, but he, he um, tries. I don't even want to talk about that, okay? <laughs> I don't know how many times I come back and I find the last message I thought I sent out to someone still on the phone. Why haven't I gotten a response yet? Yeah, oh. exactly. <laughs> Oopsie. So... As I get closer to the, you know, head, maybe not so many, but we want a little there. And then along here, this is kind of where the gills are. So I'm just going to kind of fill in a little color around here, just so the, the gill will pop up along this one edge. So right about here, I'm just using a, you know, a, the ultramarine blue. Now I'm running a, a kind of a line through what I've done to get a nice hard, hard edge on the bottom of that fish there. Ooh. What I like about this is it's such a bright and fun kind of subject matter. 
we live in Michigan, um, and and it's amazing, you know, when spring comes and the green, everything's green. It's all the same green too. <laughs> it's so yeah. hard to, you know, create something, you know, real bright and different. Um, I had the same problem in Florida too. It's like it's all the same green. So it's kind of nice. That's why I like, uh, I think I'll do a few more of these. Um, that's why I like doing birds, too, because it gives me an opportunity to do something uh, colorful. All right. Oh, good. We can get that cardinal done finally. No, we ain't. <laughs> Cut. No. <laughs> uh, no. No. I, I still have not found, I've been through a 500 reds. I think, honestly, it's because it's not the, the color. It's how it how I use watercolors the reds don't work for me so I can't use all my little tricks uh, to create uh, to create a, a, a cardinal I, I've tried a hundred times I've done uh, two females just so I could say I did them <laughs> but I don't think that counts does it no alright so So I think he looks kind of three three dimensional. I think the blue helps do that, and I think also this little pattern on his back or on his belly here also helps. So it, I I just think it kind of gives him uh, a little more depth. Johnny Johnny depth. All right, shut up. All right, I'm out of practice. You're out of paint. Hey, <laughs> hey, Captain. And you'll see when I'm using this blue, you can kind of see I'm not using a lot. I don't need a lot. All right, here's the fun part. Do this on another piece of paper. I want you to practice this before you do it, okay? I was a pen, pen and ink artist for a very long time. Um, so I, I've got a pretty good steady hand, but what we want to do is kind of create the lines, you know, for the fish scales, uh, for the fish, uh, what are them? Fins. I don't know what you call the fin. Fins. Uh, yeah, fins. That's what I meant. Yeah. So just, you know, do a few before you try to get them even see I kind of like that well toot your own horn Mr. McGuire so I am going in though if you can see and I'm just gonna push a little water here and there so that I can kind of create a hard edge along some of these uh I don't know what you call them, spines? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the individual strands are considered. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so next time we do something, we're going to look up the names of crap, right? Yep. Going to have the full anatomy of the animal open exactly. on the side screen. All right, so... The subdermis mycocollectolo... Uh, extrusion. Ew. So, as you can see, just streak, 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 streak. And I got one more. Uh, and I can't put my hand where, well, I got two more. So I'll do this one. As the audience is all vomiting because of their dizziness. Which way is hey, there he you going? Go. Like a fish in the water. Ooh. Swimming. Hey, that was entertaining. There you All go. All right. For me. Uh, not the rest of you guys. Uh, next, next video, I'm going to do the 3D filter, and then everybody has to wear the old red and blue glasses. Oh, God. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> See the fish appear right before your eyes. Now... 
See how this one kind of got away from me? Yep. yep. One guy right there. Here. Just, I'm just going to go in real quick with a wet brush. I'm just going to soften that a little bit. And ta-da! He's gone. All right. Huh. So, got most of the fins in. I got, uh, what am I missing? Black. Top fin and Fu Manchu. I think, I think some nice black. I think we need the eye, and I might even throw a little more potent gold in. I said potent gold. It's the only kind of gold I collect. <laughs> so I was thinking I might come in here, just punch up a little more of this yellow, or golden color. I'm just gonna. I want to see if I can punch up a little more red again, because this looks a little like I could go a little like another layer. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So I'm just adding a little more punch to the to the orange. Sometimes you can't do it in. You can't always do it in one shot. It's not acrylics. It has transparency. And always remember that this stuff dries 40% lighter. Also, always remember to tip your weight staff. All right, now I'm ready to, I'm going to do the eyes real quick. I think any good dark color will do. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use indigo do you ever use a true black paint rarely um, and I think it's more of a personal choice for me I find them uh, to be flat and a lot of them to be flat and dull and, and I kind of gave up on them a long time ago so there might be stuff out there that I might think is just jolly good stuff Unfortunately, I don't look for it anymore because I'm old and I don't care anymore. <gasps> That's wrong. So I'm leaving the white around the eye because in the painting it or in the photo it did that too. So I'm just going to leave a little white around the eye. I've got I don't know if you can see it. I've got a little, what do you call it? A little white dot there. Yeah, it's highlight. not going to stay white, but what it's going to do is eventually I will kind of rub it down a little bit, soften it, so it'll be a light area on the eye. The other thing I'm doing right now is I'm just dropping in a little bit of water and pushing some of that color to the edge of the to the edge of the pick uh, of the of the fish's eye. Fishes. Fishes. All right. So now for me, we're getting to the part that I've been really dying to get to. That is, um, oh, poop. All right, one more thing. You want to kind of nail these guys on top too little fins that are kind of laying down. I'm just going to put a few little lines in there. And then on this one edge, I'm going to leave this edge white. On this edge, I'm just going to soften a little bit and just kind of tack it down a little. There. Yeah. All right. Now, for the part I've been waiting for. Oh, finally. The drop shadow. Yes. <laughs> no! I hate drop shadows. But that's how you know it's 3D. You were going to supply that next week, weren't you? Yeah, I throw drop shadows on everything. 
All right. So for me, the, what I like is now we get to the Halloween part of this adventure. What what color is that? This is indigo, but it is. I'm pasting it in. It's nice and thick. Little water, a lot of paint. Okay, so it's coming out almost black, especially because we got some orange down too, already. So indigo is a very dark blue, orange. We're gonna get a grayed out, a black, you know. Um, but what I'm hoping is we're gonna get a black that isn't uh, boring or flat. All right, and I just like making little spots on fish. Because I don't get out very much. All right, getting low on indigo. I wonder if I said nice things about Schminky, right? Yeah, that's. Do you get gotta a, probably get a little tube of indigo going, or maybe to send you like a quarter of a square. Pan. Give me a pan or something. Now, I, I like doing this, and you got to make sure that the stuff kind of rolls up, down along the side, too, a little bit. But I, I just like uh, getting um, getting this really strong value on here now. And what yeah, happens, though, really is good. see how the fish is lightened up tremendously? As soon as you put a dark down like that, uh, things get interesting. All right. And these fish, they get, you know, you can have just little, little spots everywhere. Nice chunks just of gonna color. Just going to ask how many of those spots were drawn in ahead of time and how many I, are you I've just already, eyeballing? I've already... Um, Kind of, it, 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 <laughs> I've already uh, kind of doing my own thing already. I, they, they were okay. kind of drawn down a little bit, and I've already kind of just went, eh, I'll just do it. And I like, and the other thing, you know, when you do spots and stuff like that, it's always good to do them in like groupings, a grouping of two or three or four, you know? You don't want just one thing. By itself, well, maybe occasionally, but it just, for some reason, I feel that when you get them together, it just, it, it gives them a little better look, I think. And you can have a nice, like, really dark section, too. Like, here you go. You can just keep doing this until you've overdone it. One of my specialties. I should have stopped 20 minutes ago. But you got all that paint you got to use up. Yeah. And then eventually I get down to like just it's almost think of them as uh, stars you know where you have some big glowy stars and then you have the little tiny ones just makes it a little more a little more interesting and again I'm I'm usually do it in clumps of two, three. All right. And now for some freckles. 
When do we add the speed lines to represent it swimming through the water? Um, those are swish lines, right? Well, yeah, but this is a, a Japanese koi fish, so isn't that like with manga and anime? You gotta. Oh yeah. Put in the... Oh, I should have made the eyes bigger too. Yep. Dang. Next time. It's kind of funny. I think the 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 hardest time I'm having is actually with the little little dots for some reason. Hmm. If you only had a smaller brush. Uh, what is this? Uh, oh, now that you reminded me. Because didn't you buy a brand new set of something? I did. This is from. So the. The brushes I used to have um, passed away. I don't know what happened. <laughs> they just stopped making them. And it killed me because I've been using these brushes for years. They're Teclon. You know, they're the, you know, uh, plastic, sable, combo, whatever. And um, I like them because they make very sharp tips. And, and, and it was Lowell Carnell, and I really liked them. And then... It died, and then lo and behold, King Art comes out with something that is exactly the same brush. And I'm like, thank you, you know, because uh, I was already missing those others. So this is a set you can get, and I'm not going to give any prices other than if you do it, check them out at King King Art. Just check them out. Or an, on Amazon. Look at this set. I think it goes to a 2. So it goes from 2 to um, oh god, what is that? 16. Um, and that's an amazing, you know, look at that set. It's beautiful. Yeah. Those are considered uh, the round brushes? The ultra round. They also have a round version. But I always like the ultra round because of the extra sharp uh, tippy tippy tip so that's the one you want and it's kind of funny this is this is not ultra round that was the old guys these are max round okay max round and these are uh, original gold is the name of the trademark and it, they are from King Art but I swear to God we know what they are <laughs> there's somebody somebody I don't know if they're they sold their patent I don't know if they change their names. I don't care. It's the same yeah. brush. So very we'll cool. Put, we'll put links in the description. And uh, that sounds good. Yeah, if and, you use if you use the link that Bart purchases directly from King Art, uh, you'll get a ten dollar off coupon, and Keith will get a ten dollar off coupon to use on a future order. So everybody uh, wins! Yay! Now, do you think this will is going to be forever? or...? Uh, it's what's running right now, and I can't imagine. That's usually one of those promos that lasts for a while. Okay. Yeah. Because I was going to say, the only thing I, you know, if this is going to be around for years, this video. <laughs> well, I mean. But, yeah, exactly. They can see the dates, right? Yeah, there's always some sort of a, usually some kind of a referral reward kind of deal on most of these sites it may vary at some point it might drop in value or go up so don't hold us to that but right. just use the code as a little thank you and you know everybody gets a little something something and i like getting something somethings i don't like all the somethings you don't get nothing i get zip i get to sit and watch this in real time <laughs> <laughs> that's my reward and you are so lucky I can't believe how lucky you are. Yep. All right. So, at this point, I think I've got enough little speckles on here. Um, why don't we go ahead and I'm going to put some color around this fish. Huh. And I know, crazy talk, right? I'm just still waiting for you to paint his Fu Manchu. You what? I'm still yeah, waiting for you to paint his that's mustache. That's why I want to do that. It'll, it's going to help bring out the front of that fish, too. So, can I just... Uh, you I did just it, right. my brush. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to go get it. Dive. Dive. And I'm back. 
All right, so. I am going to make sure that my brush is clean. Let's find out. Pretty clean. So I'm I'm kind of wetting around this mustache because the mustache is white. And I do not want, and his lips are white too. And I really want that to show up because that's gives it that real handsome carpish look, right? Mm -hmm. What every good fish wants is some a mustache. So I've got some water around that now. So, what? Am I going to use the same blue again? Are you crazy? Um, so let's see what I can scare up. I think I'm going to scare up a combo of the indigo and the ultramarine blue. This is what I'm going to use for uh, the rocks around the uh, around my fish. Okay, so right now all I'm doing is just getting the color started around the fish here, and then I will start knocking out the uh, the rocks turning them, or pebbles, you know. <laughs> so, unbeknownst to Mark, I ended up babysitting a dog today. So, if you hear any lumps or thumps or running around... Let's say if I start yelling, uh, who's a good boy? Come here, yeah, boy. There you go. Will he jump it's, on your lap? It, it, actually, it'll be, it won't be me, is what you're, right? Yeah. Oh, you're a good boy, too, Keith. Don't Thank worry. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm just trying so hard. All right. So, anyway, you're like, what are you doing? So, I'm just putting in some rocks. And I'm just putting in, like I said, this is going to be more of a wash than a, 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 what did I call it? More of a study or a, a um, study, yeah. a study or a sketch, watercolor sketch. Now, I like this paper, Arches. I know, in case there's anybody new. I like this paper because it's good for professionals. It's great for amateurs. This paper can take so much abuse. It is so remarkable. And, you know, it's been around since, what, the 1400s? I think they got it down, you know? So, anyway, here I am again. Just going to punch in some color. I'm going to leave this side of the fish I like to work on the edges here, so I don't want to. I don't want to distract from that. So I'm going to try to just kind of work the top here. And like I said, I'm trying to work it as a kind of a diagonal across the page. Now you can do what you want. You can fill it all in. The other option is. I want you to think about um, if you like doing lily pads. You know, you could put a couple lily pads on top of this fish. Not on top of it, but you know what I mean. Mark, <coughs> get him out of his... Oh, I found another fin. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I missed, and I there missed it goes. one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All right. Anyway. I remember it fondly. So I could have probably done this a lot quicker if I'd have used a bigger brush. 
but I enjoy all my brushes so much. All my King's Art brushes. Pet and pet. They look really good in the package. Yeah, they did. I couldn't believe it when I got it. I'm like, ooh, pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna like put I said, this out so people you think buy I these paint. brushes individually. <laughs> they're expensive. <laughs> Not real expensive. The bigger ones, um, the like 10, 12, 14. They get up there in price, but as a kit like this, take advantage of this. That's all I'm saying. Just take advantage of this. It's too good to pass up. I wish I were getting a commission. Hey, let's work on that. There you go. Put Dear out Mr. some more Pink. consistent. Yeah, put out some more consistent content, and maybe we can talk to them. All right, I will. Hopefully, we are back for good. God forbid something, <laughs> some other, <laughs> God forbid there be any more COVID or it's COVID children. Let's see, COVID children, uh, Delta variant, uh, Omicron. Uh, what's the next one, you know? Yeah. Well, you got to look out for monkeypox right now. Oh, monkeypox. That actually sounds like fun, but I know it probably isn't. All right. Anyway. I heard it just makes your armpits itch, so you're like this the whole time, like a ah, monkey. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where'd you get Here that? Here comes one? the hate comment. Somebody with yeah, monkey wait, wait. That's <laughs> not just, what it does. Oh my God! He snuck in a dad joke. Well, <laughs> now you gotta get your daughter. Uh, she's heard. I have all. proof. I have. I have a daughter. I'm allowed to do dad jokes. All right. So. Pebbles, rocks, okay? So I've kind of got the color in here. All right. And I'm going to go ahead. And the trick is when you're doing a rock, you don't want to you don't want to outline them. You will outline the bottoms and some of the edges, but for the most part, you don't want to outline them. Especially the tops. You want to leave them light. Andy. Uh-oh. I'm starting to squeak. So I'm going to start breaking these up. And I like little triangles. It just... Those little dark corners of things. I like that. So there's one. So here I am. You can see I'm outlining, right? But the thing is, this will eventually end up with a kind of a darker bottom here. So, and again here, I'm just going to work in the bottom of these things. And as you can see, if you're going to do rocks, don't make them too round. They can be oblong. They can be rounded, definitely, because they're like river rocks and stuff, right? So, okay. but don't, uh, you know, don't make just round little things all the time because it gets repetitive and boring. We don't want boring fish. All right, so trying to get my little guys to brighten up here. There. Just use so. a little whiteout afterwards. No, cheater. The other big fan. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of Mr. Clean. Because it used to be you, you just couldn't erase a watercolor. It just didn't work. Now you can. Hmm. With Mr. Clean or what do you call that when it's a knockoff brand? or? Oh, yeah, they're uh, melamine sponges. Melamine sponges. I, I can't afford the the name brand stuff. I buy them in bulk from Amazon. 
And that's a plug for Amazon. Yay, link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> more money, more money. <laughs> I'm right. going to I'm going to earn that commission 2 2% at a time forever. Forever. Till the day I die. All right. So, got a few rocks in now. Little shadowy areas. And the trick with this stuff is don't be in a hurry. Build up the color a little at a time, a little at a time, a little at a time. Darker, 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 darkest, okay? The other thing I haven't put in yet is any other color. So to make this probably a little more interesting, you know, I'll probably add some green, maybe some um, some golds, just to give the uh, give the water a little more. So it isn't just blue, you know. We want the rocks to be maybe a little moldy, but also we want to be able to kind of separate the uh, the fish from the from the rocks. I know what you're... Mark's like, we don't even know what the hell you're talking about anymore. I'm just working on babbling. That's good. Nobody wants dead air. <laughs> I still like that one lady that wrote us and said, I'm so glad you don't have that insipid music in the background. <laughs> And then I had uh, another lady say the just the opposite. You know, you should put some music in there. Put like, some uh, music in and shut up. Nope. Nope. I can't shut up. It's just not in my nature. Well, that's why we do it the way we're comfortable, and there's enough people out there that'll like one style over the other. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And I can't make everyone happy, although... We try so hard, right? Yep. My okay. back hurts from bending over so much. <laughs> the hardest part is appeasing the uh, watercolor gods. All those sacrifices. Ugh. I keep waiting for when you're going to let me try to follow along, but you always just make me watch. <laughs> I want people to come back. <laughs> nice. Yeah. He couldn't help that poor man on the video. <laughs> His partner, who he's been with for years and nothing. That poor man, he sure does curse a lot while he's not getting the results he's looking for. I can... We can do this. We have the technology. Besides, I thought you were kind of a kind of a pen and ink and uh, what are you? I have no idea anymore. Kind of I'm a, a mess. Pen and, ink, pen and ink guy, kinda, among other things. All right. So. And now we get out the black acrylics and just do a hard outline of the fish so it really just leaps off the page. That's what you do. That's what it is. You're that that you're that graphic design buddy. That yeah. uh, we'll outline it like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Exactly. I get it now. I wish it were that easy. All right, so I got some rocks. Now I'm gonna go in. I've had a little time to look at this fish and it's pretty obvious. It 
doesn't have enough spots. Yeah, the fish yeah, was complaining. That's, it. that's what it is. He said all his friends had more spots than him. What did yep. he do wrong? He really skimped on that spot thing. All right. Ooh, I see something else that I missed, too. All right. I'm going to put a little dark shadow right where that... Gill kind of lays down next to his... body there. I just want it to poke out a little bit more. That might be a little extreme. But, like I said, it dries. Alright, so at this point I'm going to drop a little Maybe a little mildew in here. Is that? Uh, I don't think it's mildew. What is it? Algae? Algae, yeah. Thank you. Now, I don't want this everywhere, but I do want, like, like I said, a, 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 just a little variation in color here and there to just kind of break it up a little bit. Now what kind of stones are these? Um, little ones. Uh, I don't know, river rock. Um, uh, we need something for the internet to complain about, like that kind of, that species of koi fish would never be found in a lake with those kind of stones. What are you trying to do, kill it? Yep. They finally figured out what I'm up to. Damn them. See, if you would have painted the stones like reds and oranges, we could have pretended that it was a koi fish on a barbecue. like that. Color. Color makes all the difference. Actually, I do like that. So next week, barbecue. <laughs> yep. Barbecue koi fish. I don't even know if they're edible. Well, they're carp. Yeah. Um, let me just say no. Anyway, <laughs> there's a lot of people that eat carp and they know how to prepare it. I guess pickling it is about the best way. Mm. But uh, I am not a carp fan. But oh my god, are they fun to, to fish. I'll, I'll be honest. But not carp. Not not koi. I, I, I think that would be inappropriate. Um, yeah, I go to the local Chinese restaurant. I just stick my hand in their pond and try and grab it. There you them. go. I'm going, for the, I'm going for the crab then. I'm not going for the. I'm not going for the carp. Yeah, those fight back. But I do. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I have many tales of stone crab adventures. And them little buggers, they get a hold of you. You you hold on to your. You hold on for dear life. Cause they'll take your finger. can't let go of him or he'll cut me finger off all right so you kind of get the idea I hope that yeah. you can just keep adding and adding and adding so I think I'm gonna go with a bigger brush And I almost want to try a 
I'm going to try this. If not, we'll be ending this video a little quicker. Then. And done. And we're done. Thank you. <laughs> and good night. So, now what I was thinking is uh, I'm taking a little bit of a, uh, uh, a different blue. Because like I said, this isn't quite like a, a, a real, you know, this is more of, for me, it's more like a sketch. I just want to have a little fun with this. So for this background, I'm adding another little bit of blue because I think A, it'll help um, break the fish away from the... Uh, from the rocks a little bit and I am going to paint over those rocks with this blue eventually but I want to get the I want to get the rocks in and then kind of do a coat of color uh, on top of them but right now I'm just trying to get the color in on the on the kind of white background just so that like I said, I, I want a little bit of variety in the in the color here. And what color did I? See? This is uh, blue. Yeah. Um, oh come on! What is this? I can't think of the name of it. Oh well, give me a sec. I think I said it already. If we could review. Blue. No, you called it no, blue. It's still, still blue. I hear you. All right. So again, so I'm gonna take a take a little bit of this other blue. Yeah. Uh, it starts with a C. Cadmium. Nope. Uh, casual. <laughs> kind of. Oh, kind of. That's a okay. There you go. Ooh. So as you can see, getting a little different blue in there is is helping the. Uh, Helping the fish pop out uh, just a hair more. I like to be a little darker and then just kind of blend it away a little bit. So. I know. Fish is doing cartwheels. Don't throw up. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to hit around the edges here. And actually, I'm just going to kind of go right up and over those rocks. I cannot believe I cannot. I'm sitting here trying to it's like everything else in my life. I can't remember the names of anything. Catherine. Cindy. Um, I got I, It's gone. Can't Charleston. I can't get it. Cerulean. Yay. I said that. That's a stupid name. All right. So, like I said, as you can see, now I'm kind of going in. Gonna take a little of that color right over the over some of these rocks. Again, cerulean. I think another you could use. Uh, oh, why am I gonna suggest another color I can't think of? <laughs> uh, I also like you know the one that you color. know. It's kind of blue green. It's uh, aqua. <laughs> it's aqua. You might try an aqua. But again, I am going to go in and I'm going to keep messing with the rocks and adding value. But what I'm hoping at this point is do you think this is far enough along? 
Oh, I mean, what else would you do? Finish that one fin and well, throw a little bit more color in the background? Well, basically, yeah. I just got to keep building, uh, building the values of the rocks um, to get the greens in and get all the other little colors in. Um, but I thought by doing a little demo, you know, right in here, adding a little color here and there. So I'm going to take oh. this. Go ahead. All right. If I, if I say it's done enough, are you ever going to actually finish it, finish it? So you can post it on like Facebook or in the students I, of RK McGuire Facebook group. I'll be honest with you. Um, I, I like this one. <laughs> this one's kind of, I don't often, you know what I mean? I, this is just fun, you know? Um, all the time I'm I'm always doing real serious you know serious stuff and to me this is much more um, maybe by because I called it a sketch you know I get to uh -huh. kind of relax and just enjoy it for what it is but yes I will finish it and we will show it in the ending what do you think all right so that's it all done as far as you're going, follow uh, follow Mr. McGuire on the other socials, Facebook, he's got a Facebook group. Uh, we'll try to sneak a final photo of this up here, probably on the screen at the moment while we're talking. And yes. uh, subscribe, like the video, all that fun stuff, and check out the links to some of the products that Keith used there in the description as well. You got all kinds of things to click on and check out until Ooh. the next video comes out. Oh, more buttons. Which will be what, like another day or two? Um, as often as we can do them now. Um, hopefully. Uh, oh, we forgot to mention what? the new print store is live. If you guys haven't That's seen right. some of Keith's finished paintings and prints, uh, new store front, go check that out. Links are in the description or go to rkmaguire.com uh, and you click the little print button. You can get greeting cards, prints, framed prints. All kinds of stuff, all coming from, I believe it's Fine Art America, or who's, yep. who we're using, and they put out pretty good quality stuff. So, Anyway, you guys take care. Thank you so much, and thanks for waiting for a couple years for COVID to be over, and we're back, boys and girls. So uh, take care. Bye. Bye.